For 10k subs, I asked the TBS community for their craziest challenges. And I will be attempting the top 10 with your favorite TDS YouTubers. And everyone that I lose, I will give away 1k rupees. How much money and hours will I be spending going through the hell you all created for me? There's only one way to find it. My first challenge I tweaked to make harder. I turned it into an autoplay only with no keybinds. Now saying this was painful would be an understatement. Before the round started, I was already struggling. No, I don't want toy board. I don't want toy board. No, 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 no. I started with gold scouts, and once they covered early, I farmed. Oh, then after that, I placed. <laughs> the most difficult part wasn't placing, it was upgrading. I focused on upgrading farms, or at least tried to. You see, this auto clicker was fairly fast, so that meant I had to be very careful. This is especially apparent when I got commander. Chaining was hell. I just used two of them. Oh, that's gonna be really annoying. No shit. When I was showing the recording that I couldn't remove keybinds, I kind of oh died. God. So that meant there were two more runs left. Luckily, I knew what went wrong and made changes in game two. I did some okay farming for a set. Once I set up an Excel army, I got a DJ and commanders for support. You see, the only flaw with this was my favorite fucking feature about Excel. And as the waves progressed, more and more mystery bosses appeared. I tried to use commander to send trucks and defend off the enemies, but RNG abused the hell out of boomers, so I got cooked. I went into game 3 and assumed I had to get more excels because of last time. Though with this in mind, I ironically didn't push farms as hard. I have no fucking idea what I was thinking, I appear to have a lack of brain cells in this clip. I skipped, I should not have skipped. Because of that, Fallen clapped me back to the lobby. Let's start the counter. While tedious with an auto clicker is hard, try playing hardcore without real DPS. Challenge 2 dropped me, Mintia, and Sunken into TDS's most hated oh, game mode with starter and intermediate towers only. No Excel, no Engineer, no Ranger, no Gold Mini. Our main DPS was military base and like militant? We dealt with that problem later. Killing slow boss was more important. We kicked it off with Gold Pyro and Ace Pilot. As we progressed, Sunken placed Gold Crook because we needed him for the lack of our DPS. As we started farming, Wave 19 approached. In preparation, me and Mint were planning to get military bases, but the Mega Slow killed us. For attempt 2, we assumed we died before because we farmed way too much. Because of that, me, Mint, and Sunken saved to get Mill Base. This saved us multiple times. Including when Mega Slow just barely died. So how would we fare against two Mega Slows? Well, let's do some math. One Mega Slow at Wave 19 equals barely fucking scraping by. Two Mega Slows five waves later equals our shit getting rocked is what we thought military base helped us fight another second because three hidden bosses spawned yo nerf this fucking game mode so attempt three sunken new gold crook had to save min covered early game with ace then both of us farmed for military base we all pulled our forces together to destroy mega slow and hidden boss however the three hidden bosses approached faster and faster so what did we do to fend off these clowns and move on to the late game well jack shit nothing because we only killed one please use my bank account that seem hard, check out Polluted Wastelands in 20 minutes without hardcore or gold towers. Me, Monk, and Corso dropped into Polluted Wastelands. I can't even see the map, it is so dark. I'm sitting in a cave, so it's fun. I'm sitting in a cave. Nice. Oh yeah, the spiders and shit. PDS grind. More locked in than you could ever imagine. Our game plan was to get double pumpers. Okay, correction. Our game plan was to place some shotgunners to shoot the zombies back. Oh. Alright, you get the point. Corso helped our shotgunners with a couple dudes. Oh, okay. Okay, but actually, we progressed with Corso placing pursuits and Monk getting DJ while I did jack shit nothing. Yeah, can we get those commanders, please? You should probably get some commanders. Once Egrypted was placed, our defenses were the best they could be for amalgamation. Shit. Amal amalgamation. So, uh, only thing we had to change was auto skip for attempt two. We used the same strategy with shotgunners and mercenary base. Our main DPS was my minis, monks, rangers, and courses pursuits. Turns out all that we had to do was not skip. We progressed past the two amalgamations while locking in on the gameplay. Oh, <laughs> dog. Oh. Forget speedrunning, can we beat Polluted? Because of that, Corso called a penguin, a tedious edgeless speedrunner. Speedrunner. With his help, we built our defenses up as we got to wave 40. Our enemy wasn't actually enemies, it was time. Uh, so I guess. Time and 
13. Yes, that time isn't bad, but remember, later waves get slower. I'll be honest, watching the last waves, I was thinking we were a bit off, and OBS confirmed my worries. I don't know. I don't oh, know we're, oh, we're, we're, we're way this. off. Oh, no, we got this. And look, this challenge is most likely possible if That's we try, but um, we just, like, thugged it out. Like, my bank account has... I left the wastelands for a short period of time. Don't worry, I'll be back. On my vacation, I traveled to the Wild West with Swifter and Josh. While we rested there, some zombies attacked us and we happened to only have green towers and green skin towers in our loadout. Funny how that worked. The intent of this was green paintballer, but um, fuck him, I need my money. So what was our plan? Use Ace Beasy's hip and cool and... That's not green. Look at his shirt. What are you talking about? So the main problem here is one that pops up in many challenges in this video. Weak ass DPS. We couldn't use Excel. No, this does not fucking count. Early game was simple enough, but late game has high HP enemies that are substantially more difficult. All of our efforts got commanders, mortars, cowboys, aces, yeah, rangers, and a thin slice of hope. That was demolished by the tanks. Maybe because we had like three Man, rangers. We made sure to fix that on attempt two. Josh did so by immediately placing rangers while me and Swifter defended. This round consumables were utilized while the game progressed. Ranger was our main focus, but other enemies started to leak because of the lack of minis. Not only that, but I could have just gotten an order which would have saved us. So for attempt three, we tried to lock in. Gold Pyro was subbed in in hopes that our previous mistakes would not be repeated. This game, Josh placed a lot more gold minis and I got mortars for extra things that leak. Swifter started getting rangers for tanks and it looked like we were set, but all of our dreams in my bank account was crushed by glitches. However, when I traveled back to Polluted Wastelands, that issue was irrelevant because of this. This was pure RNG. That RNG was the chances of a random teammate, or not random, killing us by talking because every time they talked, a wheel was spun. Propellers held me talk, I mean win. And a disclaimer before this challenge starts, some of the old footage got corrupted, so shout out to this fan for noticing us before. I'm so sorry we can't really put your run in the video. I just wanted to give you a shout out though. But despite that rough setback, me and Propellers pushed to our first game. Game 1, we had one teammate with us, so things were looking up. We had a simple strat, Gold Scout, Engineer, Farm Excel, and Support, but the wheel turned this on its head. Mean Propellers played the game while hiding with small avatars behind things, and everything went smoothly because of that. I don't have much to talk about. Like, we didn't leak, we demolished the amalgamation, and our teammate wasn't very talkative. So, we decided to spice it up a little bit. Uh, so after that devastating use of a nuke, you may have noticed he talked once, but that's it. Seeing as we were doing pretty well, I decided to do a little gap. This came back to bite us in the ass. What? We died because you can't micro while doing nothing. But that round proved this challenge was possible. However, we doubted that after the first few spins. 100% our teammates fault. Stop the cap. <laughs> Once again, we destroyed early game. Well, really the entire game. Because of that, propellers decided to do a little sicky. Even if that skin was sick, our roll was not. Now in the corrupted recordings, we had gotten this one a few times, removing Excel and Engineer from the round, finishing us off. This is why we're fairly scared of these words. Luckily, our Jesus was on our side. And because we needed to get this shit over with, there was no chatting for a whole, I shit you not, 10 minutes. And as the final seconds of the game came closer, we celebrated in joy. Our journey was finally over, and shout out to Mad Lad the Second and Queer... Where? Queer? Queerty? Queerty? And thank you to everyone that has struggled through these challenges so far, but we're just getting started. And I'm glad that we're just getting started because this was the fucking funniest TDS challenge I have ever played with Elliot and Toxic. The first attempt was going smoothly because we had Gold Scout and Gold Soldier to carry us. Sniper and Hunter don't count. Straight ass. Our large army of Gold Scouts and Soldiers progressed to the later waves. You know, the ones with mimics. Well, all you need to know is these motherfuckers have way too much HP for Scouts and Soldiers to deal with. We had to abuse ability which became the best part of this challenge. The mimics got farther and farther, and at some point there was just too many shotguns. So we called in the best backup we could have asked for. Bro, it's okay. 6 a.m. for me. <laughs> you gotta lie, man. Hey, where do you live? Do you live in like the Middle East or what? Uh, I kind of forgot. <laughs>
You freaked that. That's the best line I think I've ever heard. <laughs> so the game progressed and we were doing much better with four players, but we needed to kill Walks the Fox. And our lack of gold soldiers made kill sin on the brink of insanity. This sums up attempt two. Bro, we actually need golden soldier. This is not good. We need golden soldier. Are we? Are we? Are we? Yes, are we we're good? fine. Are we going to? Okay, okay. Bro, Ant, can you be useful, good. please? I beg you. You don't have golden soldier. And you're telling me you I don't have gold over soldier. One. That's me! You can't what freeze commanders! Me? I'm busy with shotgunners! That's not the main thing right like... now. I swear I'm gonna kill oh my myself. Bro, are you this kid is so no! <laughs> There's no way. Bro, I used it by accident. No way. I don't even no. have a new. No, no, I, I, don't I spent 20,000 coins and didn't get one. What do you mean you spent 20,000? What? Yeah, that, that's I spent all my bullshit, money. bro. You literally pay to win every single cent of this game. I'm telling me don't have a new? Bro. I swear this lobby is gonna make me. Yo guys, it please like... use a new. Please, I beg you. It's one shotgun. Bro, a new. Please, just do it. I'm gonna have to use my blizzard bow. Oh, we survived. Yes, yes. Mr. Beast. Use a new. Give a new. Just do it. Just do it. Just I'm not gonna do use it. a new. Just, just do it. I'm not gonna oh. use it. Oh, please. You know, you make a sacrifice. We're gonna win, bro. We're gonna I'm win. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> bro, you all are so mad. I'm actually finished. Um, stop saying that. That's actually so weird. Oh, I'm almost finished. <laughs> like, stop. This game's so real, I think. Oh, there's still bro, two more. We're dead. We're dead. We're Use fine. a new. We're fine. 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 we are fine 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 we
like like hot oh, like temperature. this no effort massacre Cure. kept going till wave 40 and right through molten box so we demolished molten however the next round is interesting intermediate mode was a step up mainly because of the map we chose yeah that wasn't a great decision it's no joke it cost me money in the military only video that's why me kenu and dragon spammed cowboys for cash to deal with the zombie spam once we reached mid game though necromancers overran us even after a nuke drop from dragon there's so many necromancers we died because we were low-key lacking on DPS. Attempt 2, we did the same cowboy spam. We immediately tanked What's hidden that, zone. Brother? We placed pursuits instead of hidden detection for the hordes of zombies. This worked, but we left hiddens unchecked. Our last attempt, we had to lock in. I placed pursuits for the doubled enemies with dragon supports, and then Kenu covered hiddens. When wave 21 rolled around again, we just barely tanked hidden boss, so Kenu hard focused on hidden detection. But only a few waves after that, Living Experiment tanked every shot through at it. Rangers would have solved this issue, but our attempts were up. Fallen King didn't get the chance to kill us, unlike this next challenge. And his odds are higher because every tower that gets stunned, we sell. So naturally, I called up Solar, Bob, and Winter to help. Most of our towers ended up being anti-stun, but I still brought Excel cause you're a We performed this match like it was a normal Fallen game because most of the stunning is at the later waves. And Tropical Isles is a good map for this because you can place things away from the track and you'll be fine. We also had a devious plan for Fallen King and as wave 40 rolled around, I was ready to sell my excels. Once he stomped, our plan activated. Cheese the whole. Cheese. <laughs> They're gonna comment like, "Yo, that doesn't count." <laughs> Nothing got stunned until that wave. And because I feel bad for him, I'm spitting back on him to give him another chance, this time with Ned Wardo. We have to beat Fallen when our tower slots determine how many times we can upgrade a tower. So logically, Ned Wardo told me to put Excel in slot 5, Commander in slot 4, Farm in slot 3, and the rest didn't matter. We started off with Farms to get Excel, and I defended with Gold Scout, and Ned Wardo got Gold Pyro. Once the ball was rolling, our army of DPS was set. Our only concern was the possibility of stun killing us. That possibility was tested on wave 35 with boomers, and not only that, but Fallen King stomped in two really bad spots. But Microwing saved us and my money with a first try run. This last one I had, I had to venture alone. It's what you clicked on. Yes, I played hardcore 100 times. But no, I'm not actually doing anything, I'm just hitting the restart button. So, I sat down for two hours and I just hit the restart button while counting on a piece of paper and playing Clash of Clans. Oh my god, these E-Drags cannot have less brain cells. I don't care if you think this isn't a challenge, I ain't sitting in hardcore like that till I get 50,000 subs, that's how I'm gonna get engineer. And with that, 10 challenges, 6,000 Robux, and hours of my life I will never get back. This video is finally over. And as you probably already know, the Robux will be given away in some sort of form of a giveaway if that's an art contest, a tournament, or an actual giveaway in my Discord. Link as usual is in the pinned comment. And thank you for enjoying the video. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Also, I appreciate everybody for 10k subs. Alright, actually, goodbye.